I'm Simon, I'm based up here in North London. I run my own fashion label, have done for over 10 years, and I'm looking for somebody to spend some time with. Oh, I feel a bit seasick, Simon. I'm a good guy, um, and I'll take you out, and we'll go out, and you can take me out, and we'll have fun together. I bet we will, I like him. Hi! <laughs> oh, Simon, how you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm a hugger. I hope you don't mind. Hug away. I love that Brummy accent. <laughs> Me too, Bab. Love it. Is that my seat? Oh, gentleman. You are a gentleman. Do you do this all the time? <laughs> are you just showing off today? I'm just showing off. Thank you. How you doing? I'm all right, thanks. You haven't been waiting long, have you? <laughs> Three or four hours. That's it. <laughs> Looking lovely. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Do you know what? Now I've met Simon, I actually think he's quite good looking in that tooth gap. In person, it's not that bad. So I'm just going to put it in the back of my mind and get to know him. What are you drinking? Shall I tell you that I'm two total? Are you? Yeah. OK, fine. But I do like a Bailey's at Christmas. That's like a veggie saying they only have a bacon roll at Easter. You can't let me just drink Do you want me to have a Bailey's? All right, then, for you... Come on. I'm going to have a glass of water and a Bailey's. Is it crushed ice or cube ice? Mm, oh, Never crushed, that. please. I'll have no, crushed. Sorry. And you get all the bits between your teeth. <laughs> oh, come on, Si. You don't need to give Alison any more ammo about your gnashes. <laughs> so, Si, do you, do you actually have a type? Do I have a type? I don't. Do you not? No. Because it's more about having that connection. You've got to have that boom, boom, coming across the room, room. No, you've got to. You've got to. I'm really trying to listen to Si and his conversation about connecting, but I'm... Really just wishing his two front teeth were connected in some way. <laughs> Says Naomi Campbell. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, no, here it comes. I just had a, a situation with the tooth. You've got a gap between your tooth. Well, that didn't take long. But a gap between you and me. Do you know what that means? You're great at whistling. Is it, is number one, it means you're lucky. Yeah. Number two, it means you're a fantastic Rich. lover. <laughs> I thought, it does. even with a gap, you can't trust. I heard that one. Then I read up that it means lucky and rich, so I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> I've always said there is money in them teeth. That's why I've never been on safari, terrified of being poached. Okay. Have you got nails? Yeah, you've got you got to do it. No, 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 you just have to really... It's called dog do. You have to very, very lightly, and you can feel it down there. <laughs> oh, classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! I did say it was a classic. Now, come on. Let's get that conversation back on track. So, do you like spicy food? Because that's yeah, quite spicy. Right, I do you? Yeah. You're all right with it? Yeah. Because I'm into my cooking. And I do like a little bit of cooking. You are. I've seen you on TV. You do, do you do an actual cooking show on there? Or no. something, don't you? Do you think I'm you Rusty Lou? Rusty Lee, that's the name of my mechanic that does a cracking deal on exhaust. <laughs> Rusty Lee, that's funny. No joke, mate, he added a spoiler to my Fiat Uno. Cash. So, my main job is interviewing celebrities. Oh, cool, what a great job. So, do you like I'm Mariah going. Carey? I've just interviewed her. Who doesn't? No. No? What about Clint Eastwood? Oh, hello, another name drop. Is that just GMTV? This morning, yeah. This morning, so yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So, GMTV's on right in the morning, then this morning comes on at 10.30 till 12.30. And Who's the Scottish show. lady? That's Lorraine. Yeah, well, I don't work on that show. Most people know me from off the TV, so it can be a little bit awkward sometimes on the first day. But Simon, he literally ain't got a clue. It's quite refreshing, really. I'll be honest with you, you're kind of not really interested in my life, and I kind of like that. <laughs> Reminds me of my first date with my wife, and she still don't have a clue what I do for a living. I mean, I lived in Spain years ago. In those days, it was early 90s, it was dance music. Yeah. I was on the vinyl mixing, so I did all that DJ thing, went all through the rave stuff and all did the you love all that? brilliant tunes. Yeah. I was more, um, yeah, kind of commercial, which was MP Paul. Oh, my gosh, I love her. How can I love you more? Oh, no, it was going so well. How can I love... What a tune. Well, it was good when she said... <laughs> oh, smack down from the Hammond! <laughs> you are smashing me out. I'm not having this banter with you anymore. You've done this before, haven't you? Only a couple of times with The Rock, Kevin Hart, Harrison Ford, Buble, but you're holding your own with them. You're fitting in nicely, Si. Look, this is a real important question that I need to know. Oh, my God. 
If we Ooh. went to Nando's and had a whole chicken, yeah. would you want the breast or the legs? Oh, tough question. Are we going to fight over the legs or would you have the two breasts? If you want to do two legs, I'd let you have them. And you'd oh, have you my breasts. I hope he's hungry. Have you had uh, a nice day? I had a lovely day. Oh, me so, too. I mean that. I'm so relieved. Not sure if there's a spark between me and Simon, but you know what? I'd give him a chance, give him a second date and see what happens. Ooh, Would you go out and then <laughs> give another date with me? You didn't have of to. Of course. Simon. Would you? Yeah. I'd love oh. to. I had such a brilliant time today. Oh, give me a hug. It's so nice to meet you. Oh. Get in there, Alison. You smashed that date. We just got on. We just didn't stop talking from the moment we met. And I'd love to meet up, so let's do it. Let's get it on. It's been lovely to meet you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was you going in for a snog then? <laughs> That's your first date. Dream on. <laughs> See you later. See you the next Bye. time. Yeah? Sai was literally just talking the whole of the date. And normally it's me doing all the talking. I was just, it was so refreshing just to sit back and watch him chat shit. <laughs> well, if it's chatting shit you like, Alison, I'm your man.